Hi, welcome to my channel and podcast. This morning in my quiet time, I was praying for people and I thought about a particular person that I've been praying for for a while and I have other people praying for. And it just seems like um, they may not ever come to the Lord. But I just felt like God gave me this message that there are no lost causes. And so I was excited about that message. And I thought this was a message that I would bring to you because oftentimes, you know, I don't know what I'm going to say to you. Um, and I was, and I, you know, asked the Lord, not during that moment, but I probably asked the Lord earlier, um, Lord, is there something that I can pass on to people today to encourage them? And so I felt so encouraged when I, you know, I heard that. And I don't think I actually heard it like audibly, but I just got it that that message just popped up in my mind. There are no lost causes. And I know that it was from God. You know, there are no lost causes. So there may be people in your life or people in your sphere of influence that you have been praying for for a long time to come to Christ and they just keep dodging Christ or refusing the free gift that God has given us. You know, or they're like this. I have a particular person on my mind that the things of God is foolishness to them. And, um, you know, they just think that, you know, I'm saved because my mama was saved because she told me about God and she took me to church or sent me to church. And, you know, and my grandmother was a follower of Christ. So that's the reason why I do it. But that is not the reason why I do it. I have my own personal relationship where I felt like God spoke to my heart and gave me the understanding that Christ is the only way to God and to heaven. And so I accepted him for myself. I made that decision for myself. It didn't have anything to do with mama them, as we say in black community, mama them. Uh, or my grandmother. It was it was between me and God. And that's how I came to know him. But I just want to say that, you know, some people, uh, you know, everybody has their own uh, journey to go on. And it may not be as quick as yours. And I'm reminded of Paul in the Bible. Because Paul was killing Christians. He was killing them. He was just out for bad. And that's what I think of. I think of people, you know, as the scriptures also say, you know, you got your, uh, your road, you know, the seeds are planted on the road. They're planted on stony grounds. They're planted, you know, in or, or some seed fall where the thorns are. And then there's some seeds falling on um, fertile soil. So there are some grounds in your life that you have been praying for that are just like the road. And that's the way I'm seeing some people in my family. They're just like the road. The seeds are just falling, just landing on them. And they're not taking root because that ground has been hardened by being impacted by wheels and people walking across it. You know, it's just hard soil. And sometimes, you know, you get a little discouraged because they are not receiving it. But I just wanted to encourage you today that with God, there are no lost causes. There's nothing too hard for him. Not even people hearts. And so, continue to pray for them. I know, you know, with some people, you've already told them. 
You may have told him twice or three times about the Lord. And you can't keep doing that because they will get upset. But as the Bible says, you know, some plant the seed, some water the seed, but God gives the increase. And so, you know, you may have planted that seed or you may have been the one that water, watered the seeds, but God would give the increase. And um, so my encouragement to you is continue to till the ground. Continue to pray for them. Continue to love on them. Show God's love. Show the love of Christ to them. And believe, believe that they will come to Christ. And my belief for some of my people um, that I believe that are the road, in other words, that the stones are falling on, they have that hard heart. I'm believing that they are going to be like Paul. That they, when they come to the realization that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, and they accept them, that they are going to be like Paul, and they are going to be on fire. And not only that, all that resistance that they did it's going to help them. It's going to catapult their ministry. It's going to catapult them in their um, fight to spread the gospel. It's going to give them wisdom in how to combat others that may say, well, what about this? Well, what about that? Well, what about this? Oh, no, that's not going to work with them because they were like that. They had those hard hearts and they thought the same things. And then God opened it up to them and now they can they have a comeback for those uh for those answers for those questions. So um I hope this encouraged someone today uh that with God there are no lost causes. So continue to till that soil, that hard soil, by praying for that pe person and believing God that they will be saved and um, believing God that they are going to be on fire. You know, um, I'm reminded of the woman in the Bible where uh, if she came to Christ and, you know, and she was wanting to receive of the Lord. And the people was like, do you know who that woman is? You know, this nasty old woman, you know, she's done A, B, C, and D. You know, do you know who she is? And God was like, yes, I know who she is. Her sins are many. <laughs> but she has come to get Christ, and I'm going to give it to her. And not only that, because her sins are many, She's going to spread the word of God. She's going to spread the gospel like you wouldn't because you haven't gone through a lot of things. So be encouraged, y'all. Be encouraged. You know, <laughs> I hope this is encouraging to y'all. Let me know, please, in the comments. And for those of Pollard that comment to me, I can read your comments and I thank you so much for joining my, um, not parlor, but Rumble. Thank you so much for joining me on Rumble. I cannot respond to you. I'm so sorry that I can't respond to you. I am on YouTube under our first Aries Shares. So if you go on YouTube and you uh, comment, I can respond to uh, your comments on YouTube. But I do thank you for your comments. I'm so sorry that I can't respond. Now, if there are anyone out there that's listening to this video and podcast, that you have been one of those that have been refusing the free gift of Christ, uh, let's get it right today. You know, this is your opportunity to get it right today. All you need to do is pray this prayer after me and you will have it finished.
this short little prayer. Just pray this prayer. Father God, I know I'm a sinner and I am so sorry for sinning against you. But Father, I now realize that you have sent Christ to save me of all of my sins so that I am free of sin, past, present, and future. So today, Lord, I want to get it right with you. I want to accept Jesus' free gift. I want to accept him as my Lord and Savior. Please come into my heart today. In Jesus' name, amen. If you pray that prayer, you are now a child of God. You are now my sibling in Christ, and you are a sibling of Jesus Christ. You are joint heir to heaven. And so you have made that U-turn. You was on your way to hell, but now you're on your way to heaven. And so uh, you need to uh, further your relationship with Christ by reading your Bible as much as possible, daily if possible. Um, and if you don't have a physical Bible and you have a smart device, there is a free Brown and Gold Bible app that you can download. And it has several different translations. Find the one that you can understand and read it daily. Carve out some time daily to read it and also pray. And prayer is just, you know, having a conversation with God, thanking him, praising him, asking him for help in whatever area that is, great or small, and uh, taking some time to be quiet and listen to him to see what he has to say. And that's all it is. That's all it is. Um, if you did make this decision today, please put it in the comments below. I want to rejoice with you and the angels as they are rejoicing now. So, uh, but for those that already are in Christ, continue to till the ground till the soil until it is fertile. Have a blessed day. Bye.